Welcome to Pac-Man 2, the new adventures on the worst SNES quest, and I definitely do not like this game. Let's investigate. <laughs> it's a unique game. It is a point-and-click adventure in disguise. It's like reactive though. I feel like point and click adventures usually are I don't not turn based, but they they wait for your input. And this one he's constantly meandering around getting himself killed and you have to stop him with your slingshot. Character guidance interface. It doesn't have any of the things that kind of, I feel like, are standard for point-and-click games, like uh, combining items from your inventory, things like that. You don't really do anything like that as far as I've seen in this. Does this game have mouse support? Feels like it is weird that it wouldn't, but maybe it does. I just didn't see a mouse in here. I guess not. Oh, you can skip the practice days. We'll do it. I got, um, as far as I've ever gotten in this game, is birthday surprise. Couldn't finish it, so I actually opened up a guide so that we can beat this damn game, or come close anyway. I mean, four missions? Surely we can <laughs> clean this up. Mine cards. Ugh. Shoot Pac Man with the slingshot. Shoot whatever you see. I can tell you, just off the top of my head, one of the missions is to get a bottle and fill it with milk. Uh, you can shoot it two or three times, it will break the bottle and you will of soft locked, so game tip one sucks. <laughs> game tip one is no good. Pac-Man's mood is important. I believe that what got me stuck was that pa Pac-Man was like slightly mad and he stopped listening to me and I couldn't figure out how to get him to do what needed to be done when he was that mad and there was no way to get him to calm down other than dying and trying again and it took so long that people got rid of it. <laughs> Alright, I have read all the directions that I think I'm interested in here. That's the pack manual. Let's play it. Describe super cool here. The Bart Simpson of Pac Jr. They made their own Pac-Man font, and it's, um... Some of the letters suck a lot, like H, I saw earlier, but it's not too bad. Oh, 
We're gonna do all of the content that I can find, uh, including this optional thing at the start, which I probably need anyway, of just a quest to get the controls down. <laughs> I've destroyed your house. Okay, don't do it then. Am I winning? <laughs> there. There you go, man. Sometimes Pac-Man's dead. <laughs> hey, no, let's not jump the gun. We ain't friends back. He's telling me how to shoot now. Thanks. Yeah, almost died right outside your house. He built a house in the shape of himself. I'm not sure, but I think this this game might be themed on the cartoon that for some reason exists of Pac-Man. Forty-four episodes of Pac-Man. Want an apple, my man? <laughs> yeah. Get his ass. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he died from that. This is the wrong way. 
But I'm exploring this content. It's good, right? Pac-Man was an early 80s cartoon. No, okay, he's going in here, I guess. I don't think I did this last time. What is this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he put it in his pocket and pulled it back out. It told me to shoot everything. I've killed Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, he's sad now. <laughs> wiped out. You have one of these, I guess. Dog shake. Is he good now to do this again? I don't know if I need to. I don't know what the hell that item does. Maybe just... Oh, here we go. Oh, it's the game. If we find them all, we can actually play Pac-Man. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's pretty depressing. <laughs> Whoa! We're going this way, my man. I think he's dead again. So calm his ass down. I don't <laughs> I don't know how else to handle the situation. This dude is just ready to blast Pac-Man with this door, no matter what. <laughs> Jeez, holy shit. I remember not being able to figure out what the hell to do here with Pac-Man and this freaking rock. Maybe we do it later. Maybe I get some tech. I don't, I don't know if he's... Okay, he actually listened this time. I, I swear I tried that last time and I couldn't get him to do anything. We're certainly going the wrong way. I don't, I'm aware of that. I'm just not sure what's over here.
Does it loop? Do we end up at the farm anyway? Look. Hey, jackass, we're going this way. What are you turning around for? He loves to do that. All right, he's alive. It's fine. Oh shit! Once again, shooting everything is a terrible idea for me. Come here, dude. Oh my god. Idiot. They're hiding in the, the garbage cans, and he wouldn't go back to where they were. And I don't have any more of those, and I don't think I can get them just anywhere. I need to go to his house. Item. Man, go get that thing. Oh, man. What's this? <laughs> Look. Let's go this way. If only I could control him at all, like movement wise. Obliterated. I think he's dead again. Yeah. Once again, we have been defeated. Why is that? A, why is that a thing? All right. Well. We're going this way. The cat got the dog. It's fine. It's too bad. <laughs> no. 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 We can't proceed unless we do that, I guess. Oh, okay. We are here. This just goes around about to where we need to go. <laughs> oh my god. So, it just does go in a circle then. Use it. Treasure got. Yeah, <laughs> clobbered that guy. All right. Now we're on our way back to the house. Yeah, just like that. Mission one complete. Perfectly. Easy, every time. Okay, Pac-Man is deranged and he walked right past his own house. Turn around.
Now, mission one is done. We certainly stole some milk. I don't know why. We obviously have money. We have hot dog money. Is this the villain from the cartoon? No? I don't know who this is. Here's your password. Pac-Man in his beanbag chair. His table has a slice missing out of it because he's got to be Pac-Man themed. Even though, you know, at, at one frame in Pac-Man, he does turn into a full circle. You could just have a regular table. It's still Pac-Man. Right, let's see if he goes the wrong way immediately. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. He's going the right way. This is great. I don't know if there's anything, um, okay, <laughs> nice. I don't know um, where any of these secrets are. Didn't know there was secrets, if I'm being honest. I don't know that I care about them in terms, I mean, if somebody wants to f let me know if I'm gonna miss one, I guess I'll get them, but I'm not gonna look them up, I don't think. Ah, armor destroyed again. Decent looking little map here, I guess. Yeah, the secrets apparently are that's what the manual said. You could play Pac Man. <laughs> My Pac Moron is dead, <laughs> couldn't save him. Something here we care about, or what if you eat one of these thingies? He don't care.
If the sign's not flipped, he... He doesn't go that way. If it's flipped... Okay, we just shoot him. Pac-Man has a hard time living his life here. Was that poisonous? I think he's dead. Oh god. Hey man, come on. He's too sad to do it. Going in, Pac Man. Eat this thing. Is this good? Are you winning, son? Why would you do this, Pac-Man? Get the hell up, Pac-Man, we're going. Oh, we don't need to go here yet, I don't think, anyway. This is not the way... I know this isn't the way to the thing we're after here. Nearly every problem here is just related to Pac-Man being worthless at being Pac-Man. Taking a nap? did it, folks.
Pac-Man. We're leaving. Are you just not going to climb it? Maybe he's too sad to climb the rope. That's right, Pac-Man's emotions are why we fail. It's hiccuping like that, but that's okay. Well, I missed the uh, the directions. Okay, well he's dead anyway. Ouch is how you descend. Yeah, he's like a scared cat. <laughs> okay, that's how you take off. There's a very particular uh, hind gliding course here where we have to be careful where we don't hit nothing. Oh. Of course we have to do this whole thing in one go. Pac-Man's scared for his life. Okay. Well, we did okay for a minute. I don't think this game has lives. It just has... This, I think this is every item in the game, actually. Like, this is it. The current quest item, and then all these things. Higher. Hey, Tuck Tuesday, how you doing? <laughs> You're right.
Thanks for the the host. A Tuesday. Welcome everybody. We're rating this game. I'm gonna beat it. We're gonna give it a score on the ratings chart. Hooting quite a bit. I suspect that the falling rocks and stuff will still hurt me, yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> We do have uh, the ability to cheat here, and probably will. If I um, if I keep struggling with the longest section of gaming ever, so much. I can't say that after playing the Flintstones. I feel like whenever I tune into this game which is more than it should be, more than once. This is the stage you see people on. This is where you end. It's where you reach, and then you realize what this game is, and you don't get further. Why didn't you listen, Pac-Man? Pac-Man throws a lot of darts at the wall, and they ultimately just go back to the Pac-Man formula at the end of the day. They just go back to pack. Regular old Pac-Man. It's hard to hit that ghost. You have to aim around the target. Hit that Tuesday. Oh, hey, what's good? That's Sayuni. You wanted to talk about pack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I had to deal with something else all of a sudden. I had somebody I had timed out for a week as a joke, and I had already untimed them out, but they went and posted at me on Blue Sky. So I think I actually am going to probably go change that to a full band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'll be real. That was a funny little joke, but as soon as you get mad at me on Twitter about it, I think that is actually just a band now. <laughs> I don't, I don't have time for that, especially with the message. You have the right to time me out for a week solely for your own amusement, but don't expect any more money from me. Like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. I can't be bought. Fuck off. Holy <laughs> shit. But, um, hey, yeah, Pac-Man 2, the new adventures. I beat level How's one. Going? I beat level one. I found... Did you know this game of secrets? I found one. Apparently, if you can find all the goodies, you can play Pac-Man. It's regular, better than this Pac-Man. And that's what I'm hoping to do, I guess. I'm not going to go nuts looking for those, though. I don't think I've ever uh, beaten level 2 of this, though. Which is this. I've beaten this part, but the, uh, the part beyond this has some kind of puzzle... Pac-Man, I, I don't know if I want to call it a puzzle, it's probably really stupid, but there's something I need to do that I couldn't figure out in the section beyond this. Oh hey, that was all there was. That last ghost is just a menace. I don't know if I should just keep walking? I know if I shoot these vines, he gets all messed up. Yeah. 
the flower is the goal. Now I don't know what to do. Can't go that way. wrong <laughs> man if you're finding an apple core just get pissed yes every day of my life I, um, I believe that what got me stuck here last time is that this absolute dumbass, now that he's mad, he won't do anything anymore. He no longer will interact with me in any meaningful way. He's just getting <laughs> even more mad. He's still s sort of upset. What? What? <laughs> yeah, he won't. He won't do it. So the puzzle now is to figure out how the hell you cheer him up. Well, I have one of these. What do you do if you don't, though? Hey. Maybe that would cheer him up. Maybe seeing a bunny rabbit is what he needed in his life. Oh my god, what are you doing? I think he's gonna die somehow. This is what we wanted somehow. <laughs> New milestones of Pac Man. I have the flower still. I did pick it up. He's just sad now. Is he tired? Nothing bad happened. He's such a baby. 
Anyway, Pac-Man 2 is a great game. Yeah. This farmer is not allowed to live. Every time we come here, we have to crush him. Take some of these for later, I guess. I don't know how to unlock Happy Pack up on the mountain when he's upset. The power pellets are some kind of like cheat for it. You can just eat one of those and be happy again. What's so wild too is like it, his mood being good isn't always like positive. Like it's often quite poor. My favorite character from the 80s TV show. Apparently not actually even from that. That famous fifth villain in Pac-Man. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. Took his guitar, damn. Look, look. Okay, I, I told him to go right, he immediately goes left. Welcome to Pac-Man 2, we're on our way to the third mission here. I'll just go this way, I guess. Sad about the mailbox. He's dead. <laughs> Getting him to step over this rock is the hardest thing in this game, probably. Please. Oh my god. Be mean to the rock. Step over the rock. Shut up. <laughs> Just get out. Got no. Oh my god, no. Is he too angry to do this? Can it not be? We can't go this way? That might be the case. I just need to turn around, I guess. He, he made it through last time without any issue. 
And I don't know <laughs> The skateboard why. section is always a big pain in the butt. I'm not even trying to use the skateboard. I just want him to step over this rock. <laughs> it, yeah, maybe you have to shoot him in the butt to make him like pop over it. Oh my god. We're gonna back it up. We're gonna save 20 seconds of time. <laughs> Oh no! Look here, Pac-Man. Fuck is that? Yes! Okay, it has to be the most incredibly timed thing. You have to tell him to look when his foot is already over it, or else it's... Oh my god. <laughs> no, no! Oh my god, no! <laughs> he decided to go the other way. Let's go. Uh, at least he just has depression and he isn't dead. He just Honestly, doesn't even they're pretty anymore. close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's actually pretty close to him being dead because he doesn't really do anything anymore. Well, now he's truly sad. There we go. I think it is just incredible timing with a thing that takes like two seconds to start. Oh, you're live streaming in Discord. Okay, I was like trying to pull up a side stream like a dummy. That works. Look, look. Oh man. Look at the rock, please. <laughs> I'm getting good at it. God bless. I think this game is better than The Flintstones, which is currently number two after Pit Fighter as the worst game of all time on the SNES. I don't know where it is on the list. It's not that far up. There's a lot of crap on this console, turns out. This game at least is entertaining. How can you see this poster and, and be sad? With my eyes. Because I'm not the one eating the hamburger. <laughs> I want to cover Pac-Man in paint. He needs to... He's, he's too happy. Yeah. <laughs> I got paint on me. I'm dead. Just give me a respawn. Uh, if you type in ratings, you'll see... Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I have... Um... You've gone through so many now at this point. What What is your current worst? Pit Fighter is the worst, followed by the Flintstones I did last yeah. night, and damn, it's uh, it's like Pit Fighter's barely even a game. The Flintstones is a game, and it sucks a lot. Dude, Flintstones, like, the jumps feel terrible, all the platforms are unclear, the art is ugly as shit from what I remember. Like, the backgrounds are hideous. <laughs> the further you get, the more ridiculous it becomes. It, it doesn't follow any rules anymore once you get to the end. I don't think I could ever beat it legitimately. <laughs> like, it's so rough. I, I'm adding a new category tonight that I'm gonna have to go through and do all the hundred games that I've done uh, just mm -hmm. historical like value because I did Earthworm Jim and it's it's mixed in with a bunch of slop and I have to explain why and I think that that's why is it whether it deserves it or not at impact did it <laughs> I don't know if it did legally. Like, it had more impact after, than the other ones, but like Donkey Kong guess, Country had impact, and I have that one on there. Bubsy like had a pilot too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna give Bubsy some credit? I guess. I am, yeah. yeah, I am gonna give Bubsy <laughs> a little bit because uh, it got three hey, games. I don't have. To, I don't have to give Bubsy credit. I'm built different. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, what had... What's wrong with I mean, like, Pit Fighter obviously had zero impact. That's, like, a historical footnote at best. <laughs> yeah. I needed to round out the score. Well, the actual 
the biggest problem I have with my spreadsheet is um, I gave them stars for scores out, and, um, and I've just now totaled them, and it's not really in order. But fighting games don't have stage design, so they're missing some stars, and I gotta figure out how to balance that. I'm not sure what I'm shooting here, but there's a lot of stuff. What are you? What is he doing? Is he pulling a balloon prank? Put Pac-Man in jail. Hell yeah, destroy Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, this is good for me, I guess. Oh, fuck. I forgot to shoot him. He's dead now. He doesn't get up on his own. He's actually dead from that. I do not like the smug Pac-Man walk. No, I don't like how he lifts his legs really high and really makes sure his crotch is flared at the camera with every step he takes. I think it sucks. Oh my. He's just on autopilot here. This is great. It's just the cutscene in the game. It's moving. But yeah, I don't want to um, try to give stage design to fighting games that don't do anything with that. But I also don't want them to just be missing points and be considered automatically worse than other games because they didn't. So I don't know how to rate that. I'm trying to figure out that in my head. You can do a pack. He got like, is he getting hungry? Is there like a stamina system in this? Why is he sad? Oh my god. How do I get across? Um, so I think you need to like have him in a better mood and then shoot him in the butt when he's approaching it. But he might, yeah, his mood might need to be better. Or you need to shoot him right before he makes, yeah, like right when he's about to hit the edge of the ramp. Don't know how to make him happy. Buddy, if that ain't the mystery of mysteries. <laughs> oh my god, come on. You have to let him get the run up first is the trick. He has to be in run mode and then you shoot him before he stalls out. Just a happy little guy, just a funny little fella. There you go, there it is, nice. How do I remember this? <laughs> Pretty disgusting timing on them. Oh, he's happy now. He didn't die. Yeah, I can't remember if power pellets make him happy at all. The main they do, oh. yeah. Uh, this I don't want to use them just because, but uh, they do yeah, seem you need to them. like cheat the way out of the problem. Yeah, if you get attacked by ghosts and you don't have them, you just lose on the spot. Yeah, for anyone unfamiliar, by the way, this is Pac-Man 2. This game's crazy. It's a second person control game. You can only suggest hope that your funky fella does. Yeah, you, you're a real suggester in this game. Get the cola, man. <laughs> You're like one of Pac-Man's ancestors trying to guide him from beyond and he's just not listening. He can't hear you. <laughs> and it's really annoying. And he's the stupidest guy. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of black and white with the creature that you're supposed to control. And you try to get him to like cast grain on the store and give people food. But he just goes in there and takes a shit instead. And it's so big that it crushes the building. Anyway, that's black and white. This is Pac-Man 2. Welcome to Pac-Man 2. We already drank the cola, you son of a bitch. Let's go. Okay. 
This normal man, this normal human man. <laughs> is this like the ultimate smurf? What is this guy? He's got the guitar. Is this good? <laughs> there they go. Absolute moron. Um, what? You. Maybe next time, Pac Man. But you tossed it into his mouth. <laughs> what does he want you to do? I think that that was a cutscene where you're guaranteed to lose and he's sad, just as a, a double bonus. <laughs> find and chase the ghost some more oh did i how did i win like a, did i actually do the right thing did i shoot the man 50 times is that correct i have a guide open that i haven't read i am gonna read it just to see um what in God's name just happened? <laughs> what was that? Oh, let's play a better game. It's amazing that this is like the worst version of Pac-Man I've ever played in this game. Where they could have easily just had regular arcade Pac-Man. This feels bad. That's okay. It's still Pac-Man. So is this the best part of the game? It's playable. It's a classic fun time. And... I don't think I've ever heard someone more dismissive of <laughs> Pac-Man. You you just did everything but call this shit Rinky Dink. <laughs> you were like, "Oh, it's a game. It's you can pay his buttons." <laughs> like, come on, bro, it's Pac-Man. He's legendary. <laughs> Historical impact, one million. <laughs> you probably walk down the street and don't notice the ghost right next to you, but I noticed them all. I noticed them all. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, no! Oh, you're, you're bone, dude! <laughs> Hold this sandwich mix. <laughs> they do have AI. I don't know offhand what they are. One of them chases you, one of them's random, one of them kind of just tries to go in front of you. And if you're really good at Pac-Man, this knowledge is essential because at like stage 30 and, and beyond, the power pellets only make them turn around. It doesn't even make them blink anymore. Yeah. Which is not fun at all. It turns out that that part of the game sucks and you just really have to love Pac-Man to keep on playing at that point because mm -hmm. eating the ghost is like the only fun thing in this game. <laughs> oh shit. I could That's make why Pac-Man Championship Edition is like the perfect game. Because you eat so many ghosts so fast in that game. Oh my god. You like shred through them bad boys. It's great. Look. Oh shit. They seem like they're smarter than usual. But I don't know their AI offhand either. I don't know if you get anything for getting 20k. I think you might. But I don't know what it would be. In this game where you don't really have any lives or anything. Mario walks into the Mario Museum and plays Mario. I need more cartridges. I'm not allowed to play this one until I find the stuff. That's exciting. It sounds really messed up when you say it, of just someone going in and being like, Hey, you see that video game? That's me. I'm in that. <laughs> I'm gonna play it. Stand back. <laughs> Watch out for the water, my man. Alright. <laughs> oh 
my god. Pac-Man watching the Pac-Man animated series and saying, not bad. <laughs> hey, you know this guy? Let's go get one of those burgers. I think my favorite part about Pac-Man 2 is that when Pac-Man gets really sad, the game slows down a bunch, so you feel sad too. It's immersive. <laughs> Finally, apples. Something to raise my mood. He's just like me for real. I eat an <laughs> apple and I'm immediately good. <laughs> I'll take three, please. Core and all. Oh, man. The dream. Welcome to Fountain Way. Oh, dude, you fed him too many apples. He's all hopped up. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, he saw a fish, so like a small child, he gets very excited about it. Oh, You're God, not going to no. be able to control this fucking rapscallion. <laughs> <laughs> He's going trouble mode, bro. He's Which, by the, the way... Moon. Yeah, one of my favorite things about Pac-Man, if his mood goes too positive, he goes into what I call shithead mode, which is where he's so up on himself that he just takes shit from people. He just breaks stuff. If you go to help a little girl move a couch, he just jumps on top of the couch and is like, nice couch for sitting. See ya. And then leaves. <laughs> he walks in and starts jamming. Can we get a new guitar? Oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the world wasn't made for you, Pac. You gotta live in society here a little bit. I don't like that he, like, does a little, like, sultry, like, ooh, look at me, when he turns around in big stepping mode. Hate that. I hope you die in the shopping cart adventure. All right, he's, he's been crushed. He's been punished. When he wakes up, we'll be allowed to play again. He's dead. But when he wakes up from this death, he'll... Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. The things that will and will not kill Pac-Man truly feel just so wildly disproportionate. If only this game controlled to where you could influence what's happening at all and you could see these things. Like, if I wanted him to play the piano like a shit and then leave <laughs> and I didn't have to try to get him to be super happy first. Hey man, I want the guitar. Oh, okay. I guess it's just a sign. I guess they don't have one. We really need to go get the stolen one back. Don't touch this. Just stay away from it. No. <laughs> what the? F a hot dog. Oh, from sweet, free hot dog. Yum. This is not a pipe. Levels of this is not a hot dog, right? Because that's that came from a picture. This is not a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. This is not a hot dog. I'm all wet now. <laughs> wow, this is great. <laughs> I love this for me. The pack house is closed. This is me walking to MAGFest in the morning. This is exactly what I walk like. <laughs> Just having a great time whistling, ready to be a big old shithead. <laughs> oh god. What? What is he mad about? What? I shot some civilians. He's pissed. Oh, you hurt the children. Um. I love that when he's this mad, he actively <laughs> does not care about the ghosts. <laughs> They're only a threat if you believe it. I think my favorite part is, so like, this wasn't a mandata mandatory de-ghosting, so um, at some point you might need to go back to your house and get two more pellets. Oh, he can fix it. Wow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Great job. 
What? Pac-Man Championship Edition DX is basically a retro game? Yeah, I'd say so. It, it was like a really early um, 360 arcade release, right? What? What? A secret pellet. There's secret pellets in this shit? Oh my god. Oh, I'm back here again. I'm not sure where to go anymore. I'm gonna consult my guide. Actually, I wanted to do that anyway because I wasn't sure how I beat the, uh, the boss earlier. Which boss? The big... Blue guy. Oh, like the blue guy in front of the door? Yeah, you just have to like shoot him enough and then give him time and he'll transform into ghosts, I think. Apparently our job right now is to fix that hydrant. Is it? Aren't you supposed to be like getting a Milk for pack babe? No, that was first mission. What's this one? You're trying to get something for a baby? It stole my son's guitar. Oh, uh, yeah, so I think you need to find where they are with that guitar, probably. Yeah, I thought I had them when I saw them in the uh, trash can, but nope. We have to do this until he's upset. Apparently this is something. <laughs> Oh yeah, wow. Pac-Man Championship Edition DX was uh, 2010, so 14 years ago. Yeah, that's retro. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. And now it's gonna kill him, instantly. What? Wait, is that the right thing to do? Apparently. What? what? We're going down the pit, <laughs> my man, come on. Oh yeah, if you've uh, if you've never played Pac-Man Championship Edition DX chat, um, if it's ever on sale for like pretty cheap, it's good. It's really fun. It's easily my favorite version of Pac-Man. Um, the second one is a little less good. It's still good. It's just the first one was definitely a little better. Great games though. Oh, he listens. You can get them for like two bucks. Very exciting when Pac-Man listens to you. Smite, when you climb down ladders, do you scream the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I recorded a Pac-Man noise. Here it is. Oh, thanks. Look, <laughs> look. Didn't know that's what he sounded like until I played this. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh man, life's tough down here. That's the noise I don't understand how he makes. The guide wants me to climb this ladder, I think. I think it's this one. It's very hard to do that though, according to this. One of the most difficult tasks in gaming, climbing a ladder right there in front of him. Yeah, that's, that's, I think, like, the, the extra layer that makes this game agonizing is it's already, like, a little goofy and a little janky, but then you get these moments of just, like, multiple minutes at a time where <laughs> any other video game you would just hold left and then hold up, and you'd be going up the ladder. But no. <laughs> no. You're, you're playing the game where you have to control a little goblin and convince him to go up the ladder. He just crawls into a ball and sulks in the sewer. Look. <laughs> Look. Hey, man. And the dramatic, please, look, with reverb, and he doesn't listen. Son of a bitch. <laughs> wow, a ladder. Life in the source. <laughs> Are you going to need to feed this little butthole a pellet so he stops being sad? Maybe just ding the ladder and give him a second. Go right until Let you reach the ladder, thing. make him look up at it, and he'll probably climb it. <laughs> oh, fuck. You hurt my tushy. Is he gonna climb this one? What are you scared of?
Not for honor, but for you. <laughs> Why does he take so long to climb the ladder? <laughs> this apparently leads to a secret. Oh, this is the, yeah, this is the last area in the game. I was going to say, I remember this being the last boss. I don't know if you need to be at the warehouse yet. Yeah, apparently this guy doesn't care about any of the stuff in between this and the end of the game. We're just here now. <laughs> Crying in the corner all by yourself, handsome? Mind if I join you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a pan! Oh my god, he body blocks the pan. He body blocks the pan! <laughs> oh no! You idiot! Based, based, based. <laughs> I've defeated the ghost. Should we keep going? Should we go back? I don't know. Let's keep going. How bad could it go? How far could you get lost in here? Probably good to find out, huh? I guess I can use the password to check out the guitar quest if I want to later. I... I don't think they let you finish the game. I'm pretty sure there is a wall where you need a certain number of key cards. But I I may be just totally wrong. It's been a long time. Yo, newbie raid, what's good? Oh, he forgot that he was being threatened and he just I was happy to be here. Imagine if this game was like reasonable and all I was doing was stuff like shooting a laser, just open the way. <laughs> Arguing about a ladder is pretty rough. I feel like if I don't hit this with the pellet, he's gonna run into it and die. He does love doing that. Oh, speaking of which, well, 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 if it isn't the laser that kills Pac-Man instantly. Oh my Oop, God. Uh, wow. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what that was. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's very excited now. I love to sit. See, playing Pac-Man and... But knowing that he has a show and a family and he's like a dad and stuff, you wouldn't think that he has the mind of a child. Yeah, it, you're right. It, it's very weird that they have him be a dad, but also a baby. They have you're gonna kill babies. him. Fight. Good. <laughs> they have pack yeah, babies. Yeah, he knows what character. sex is. Why don't they yeah. just use pack baby to do this? What? Don't run into the laser, my man, please. Also, Pac-Man has a nemesis of the witch, which I don't love. <laughs> I don't know since when Pac-Man <laughs> needed a witch. <laughs> like, the ghosts were cool. He was a weird little orb who was harassed by ghosts. I think that's plenty. I don't have the cards. Yeah. I guess you only need three, so you only need to do some of the adventures. Apparently this was just a shortcut to find the guitar guy, which is weird because um, I just walked down the street to do it. Because this is where he was. Now I need to figure out what to do next. He describes the pal- He's sad in the menu because he's sad in real life. <laughs> I can't cheer him up. Okay, so this guy says to kill the three ghosts to get the guitar, and I failed to do that, so now, what do we do? We go home, get three pellets, come back, try to find ghosts again? I think I'm in trouble.
How many missions are in this game? Is this like the penultimate mission actually? Yeah, it, it's... Uh, have you done uh, flying over the mountain yet? And have yeah. you done the minecarts? I haven't done the minecarts. Okay. Yeah, it, it's three and then the finale, if I remember correctly. Look, look. I don't know what the minecarts is all about. If that's it's Virtual Cat saying four, that's how that sounds right. I think it's four total. Uh, the minecart is the worst part of the whole video game. Look forward to it. Is that like final level? Yeah. Oh, uh, that cat's gonna kill you. Yeah. It sure is. I've dealt with this cat before. It steals my hot dog. Well, Pac-Man, your hot dog or your life? <laughs> it's an ultimatum. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. You don't get to not do mine carts. You'll have to. They don't let you not do mine carts. Dude, that cat has it out for you. <laughs> Pac-Man just sucks. So bad cats want to kill him. Wow. Ah, uh, saw a cow, but I don't have a jar, so I'm sad about it. This is like when you try to get an NPC in Oblivion to, like, eat a poison apple on the table, and they just pick up a piece of bread out of their pocket instead. <laughs> Play with that dog. Maybe that'll cheer him up. Cheer up. It's your dog. Yeah. What other games offer this level of interpactivity? What is oh, you're asking how did it get to the bottom? Oh, I thought you were saying like what other games could possibly be as bad as this, to which I would say shockingly more than you would expect. <laughs> what, what's the command for the whole list? Is it exclamation point rating? Yeah, that's... I'll be looking at that once we'll be with this. Uh, I'll be putting this yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try petting that dog. Surely that will cheer up this moron. It's gotta. If petting your dog doesn't cheer you up, then truly all hope is lost. Look at that dog. I just like looking at him. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Thank God. Some things make sense even oh, in this universe. Pissed. No, no, no. Pet the dog more. Pet the dog more. <laughs> this has to work. If this doesn't work, I don't know what could work. Oh no, you shot the doghouse too much and then the dog was barky at you, I guess. Now he's sad. Sorry, that, did that dog have butt cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that dog. It does not cheer him up to pet the dog. Horrible. The devs of this game know nothing of the Pac-Man condition. Look. We're just gonna eat this stupid thing? <laughs> it's the way out of this jam. I, uh, I just kind of assumed, I guess, that this game was like 20 hours long and <laughs> not five minutes long. And I just sucked at it, never got anywhere. I didn't know I was always getting halfway through it in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the real riddle of this game is like, if you know what you're doing and you just straight shot it, it is so fast. You can be done so, so quick in this game. Um, to the point that usually if they show speedruns of this game uh, at like a Games Done Quick event, they usually do a funny showing off all the dumb events run because otherwise it's just like pac-man is oblivious for seven minutes and then he wins <laughs> and then the cum monster explodes the end <laughs> and that's it Cat doesn't like Pac-Man, sees him 
It's like seeing a ghost. Like the poltergeist walked in the room, the cat gets mad. I love that there's a screen that just owns Pac-Man. Like, no matter what you do, he's getting owned here. He's either getting a hot dog and having it taken away, a cat's going to kill him instantly, or he's going to slam his dumb fucking head into a hot dog cart. Like, he can't win. <laughs> <laughs> the victory in that, the thing you're supposed to do, which is abysmal, is let him eat the hot dog and shoot the cat. Speedrun of this is 21 minutes. That sounds about right. Yeah, just to like get through, get him to walk across all the screens. <laughs> There's no way to make him go faster. <laughs> Interact with less things. That's how you do this faster. I, I actually do wonder what the emotion setups are. Because I have a feeling, because you'd want him to be like non-interactive, right? Whoa. So it might Whoa. be... Oh, what did you do? You're going to the roof, big man. We're good. Don't worry about it. Ah, oh, he's sad that he killed that guy. That makes sense. The Pac-Man is filled with regret. You can have two apples. One for good vibes and one for hunger. When he's drunk Pac-Man, does he do different things like fall in the ocean there? The little fountain? I... I can't remember all... Oh, okay, so all you have to do is ask politely for a balloon. And it's cool. As opposed to Pac-Man who just takes it. Oh no. Okay, that's literally a problem a toddler has. <laughs> where they get a balloon and you don't tie it to their wrist so they lose the balloon and then they're very sad and they learn about the impermanence of physical things. <laughs> oh my god, he got himself killed again. A child loses a balloon and gets one step closer to samsara. Pac-Man loses a balloon and learns nothing. You jackass. He doesn't see it. I can't believe he doesn't see it. Look at this thing. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Too depressed. Gonna get in this cart. <laughs> At the, since he's so sad, it takes five hits instead of one to do this. Wow. Fake hot dog. What? What? Need you to jump over that. What? No. How can I cross a small pit? <laughs> I'll never to get out of the sewers. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> there. Okay, there's a ghost here. Here, take this. Do I just need to find the other one too? Oh no. Gotta do the jump again. There we go. What's down here? Bye. <laughs> 
Oh, here we go again. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure the solution is literally just you make him pop and then kill him. You might need to let him finish laughing. <laughs> oh my god. Pac Man. Oh, he's gone now. <laughs> Great. Great. I'm rewinding time. <laughs> what do we just leave, go back home, take a nap, and then come back? Hope he's here the next time. gaming <laughs> what if he's not happy enough to oh yeah you might be able to try and walk past him to get you to get him to harass you a little bit This is how I got him last time. I think. <laughs> what? Yeah, Pac-Man is sick of being told no and is ready to fight. You might need to shoot him one more time when he's doing that to make him pop. There they go. Somehow, timed correct. Nice! Actually did the pellet this time. Get the guitar goes first. Molto Benny. Yeah, I was so confused. I'm like, this is like supposed to be a really short segment. Like you go kill him and then take it and then you're done. <laughs> That's like it. This was outrageously hard to do. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Thank you, Yggdrasil. Thanks, folks. <laughs> was that Pac-Man? <laughs> Ow! Ow. That sounds like halfway between Pac-Man 2 <laughs> and um, like an enemy in Yoshi's Island taking damage. Being like, wow. My favorite part of Pac-Man 2, walking home. <laughs> look, look. He's in a really good mood now. Gonna buy a hot dog, he's so happy. I'm on hot dog defense. That was a close one. Woo! <laughs> Almost got got! That would have been the end of me. Are the notes backwards because they just flipped it? They didn't even... <laughs> Whatever, it's fine I guess. Pac-Man points at the cage. Yerky. <laughs> Pac-Man's one of those dudes in the car who says horse when he sees the horse every time. <laughs> yeah. That, you know what, that's a habit you will stop having really quickly in some parts of America, or else your voice is going to be hoarse, brother, because you're saying it so <laughs> darn much. This took three Wait. weeks. Doesn't just have a baby, but has a son. Yeah. A son who has talents well beyond Mr. Pack. By the looks of yeah. it. Yeah. He's playing this well, even plugging it in. Where's the drum kit? Damn, he's good.
Why don't they just work for somebody who doesn't blast them every time they fail? I don't know, I say this to Tesla employees every day. <laughs> Pac-Man! You misspelled meddling. <laughs> meddling. 1D. <laughs> the ghost witch. The famous ghost witch. Okay, so moving Lucy's couch when you're in a good mood gets you one piece. I got that piece of the cartridge. Uh, the other ones are after minecart ride and yep. in the city with the balloon stand up on the roof. I don't care about oh, those particularly, right. but... You gotta get in the whole... I mean, if you're only gonna play Pac-Man 2 with the new adventures one time, you gotta get the <laughs> full experience. So, don't, don't cheat yourself. This game's a classic. Certified classic of games that you should play one time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I went to those areas. I just didn't get the goodie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess we go just to the city through the train again. It is also immensely funny to me that there are like 12 other games that are not just Pac-Man that are named like Pack World, Super Pack World, Pack This, Pack That, you know, and then they were just like, no, this is the one that's a sequel. This is the first one that truly improves upon the formula. I need to destroy the one with the garbage can. I think that's the one I have. I need ID cards. I have to wander around until I find them. So that list I'm looking at right now. I need to go back to I was going to say, because one of the ID cards is on the mountain. Oh, he's worried about the cat because the cat kills him. Like, legitimately. If you hit the cat, it kills you. If you get a hot dog, it steals your hot dog and makes you feel bad. Cat's a menace to society. Why is he so bad at this? Where's he going? <laughs> no object permanence. Oh my god, Pac-Man. I'm gonna back it up since he docked the shot. <laughs> Get those ones first. Oh my god. Nope. Hey, there you go. They didn't drop it, so this must be the ID card I have, I guess. Yeah. The one you don't have is the mountain, for sure. So full of salt. Mm, the salts affect me. How's the skateboard here again? <laughs> Wrong way. I guess uh, I'm turning around. The skateboard's screen is the most devastating place, and it's optional, it seems like. Oh yeah, good call, Xticko. I forgot. We rebranded sodium as electrolytes. <laughs> wow, a lot of <laughs> electrolytes in this hot dog. Okay, so I think this takes you to the mountain? I missed the mountain pass. 
But it looks like one of these is in the city. I don't know when I'm supposed to go to the minecarts thing. I haven't done that yet. What? Don't don't remind me that Logan Paul stole my chocolate sentinel, please. God. Okay, now I'm turning around on the Burger Man sign. Kinda into it. Oh, can you go past that gate now? That the guy's gone? I think that's where I'm supposed to go, but I need the ID cards first. Well, the ID cards are for um, down in the sewers. That big wall you saw that was like, give me three IDs. No coke. Let's go. Stop it. Father, I desire the cola. <laughs> Literally a baby screaming during the checkout aisle that they couldn't get a candy bar and then being mad. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've been completely ignored. I don't get it. Well, can't go in there, I guess. Maybe. I don't understand. <laughs> Apparently this is where one of the ID cards is. This guy right here. I don't see it though. I think you got this one already. Cause you have two, right? In your inventory? Do I? I thought you already had two, yeah. And you're just, oh no, you are missing two, okay. Well, this guy told me that one of them was here and one of them was the other one that I'm pretty dang sure I got the other one. So now it's, um, I feel like the guide is like, if you do it on the first pass, it's true. And then if you don't, the game gets worse and it hides them big time. I have no idea where it is now. And the guide does not take that into account, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not sure if you need to go on the roof at this point or find your way to, can you not go to the mountain? Do you need to get like another pass or something? I can go to the mountain. I would do the mountain then, because that is definitely going to be something you have to do at some point. Well, let's just keep going this way, my man. Yeah. <laughs> Texev, that's the thing. I Sometimes I think about this game and I think about like how hard it must have been to program this. Like it must have been such a labor to program a second hand weird little guy simulator as opposed to just you press the D-pad left and your little fella goes left. Like this has to be a nightmare. Shoot the door when he's going through it. Oh. <laughs> I dare you to go in there. Kill him! Get his ass! Light him up! Spit him, boys! <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. He's going full throw up mode. This is gonna send me to the roof because he's a criminal now. <laughs> I guess I'll resurrect him. Wait. 
Oh, you just have to wake him up. Okay. Yeah, I always forget about that. It just seems like he naturally should get off his ass and wake up. Generally, yeah, if I, t if I trip and tumble over, I don't need a uh, god to throw a small pebble at my head. I simply uh, decide not to be dead. Well, anyway, you died. Yeah, we gotta do something with this now. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you got it. That's how you get him onto this part of the roof. Very happy about not being dead. Oh man. Oh, that's just death. <laughs> Why does this game have unlimited lives? Who can say? <laughs> Who can say? Apparently one of the secrets is around here. It's maybe I need to get past this thing. No. Nope. How do you get past that thing? I don't know where to go from like this doesn't match what this guide says. Maybe it's for like a different console or something. No, it's not. This yeah, says, that uh, would be my guess, is that it's supposed to be under construction building and they just shortened it to under building, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm backing up. Apparently one of the cartridge pieces is up here. I have no idea where though. Oh, is it in one of the trash cans? And you need to make him fall down to the trash cans? Yes. Maybe one of these. Please. I've, I've like five different ways to tell him to look at something and he's just like, he just looks at me and smiles and doesn't do it. Oh Nothing in that one. I guess I'll give up. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like games that have second person controls that have done it really well. I'm not sure. That's not it. Yeah, Seaman's like 0% control. That's more like a Tamagotchi. Like a virtual pet. Is this actually here and you just have to check it multiple times? No, I don't think there is one up here. I'm wondering if the guide you have is for the Genesis version or something. Because yeah, I don't think any of them are up here. Driver San Francisco. I'm just gonna trust you because every driver past three I refuse to engage with. There it is. Oh, cart! Did you just have to make him kick one specifically? I think you had to, yeah, shoot it like five times and he gets mad that he found nothing and then he finds the thing. An impossible secret. You gonna get out of this jam, Pac-Man? Oliver Pac-Man. No one knows. Then get out by dying. Let's do it again. 
case you didn't like also, that I don't understand. The first time. Why is there like circus music up here? <laughs> Fuck sake. Like some kind of strange clown waltz. Also, why does he get so sad from <laughs> one failed attempt? Like, imagine if, like, Neo was in the Matrix and he tried to jump the first time, failed, and then just, like, curled up in a ball and refused to engage. He's like, I'm done with the Matrix. It's it's dumb. <laughs> it's a broken game. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I know Kung Fu. Show me. And then he loses and quits. <laughs> All right, well, I, I don't know how to get the uh, ID card that we require to win. But we'll just go somewhere else <laughs> now. <laughs> These guys apparently have one of the ones I need. I don't know why they're not giving it to me, but what are you going to do? That's what I'm thinking is they might want you to go get the mountain one first before this one spawns, but... I literally know nothing about Pokemon channel chat other than there's a game where they count uh, sheep and Sebmul like did a full run of it and it ended when it counted like 99, which was normal. And then the second time it was like, it ended after like 20 and then the third time it ended after like 9,000 <laughs> like it was just completely insane Brief jumping baby We have to stop at every uh, single thing here <laughs> Give him an apple to cheer him up Since he lost his balloon the little baby No time to sit on the bench. We're busy. The world is under attack. Oh, well, he's in a really good mood now. What's this? I don't remember this. Why would you get in this? Hey, they had one. This is not what the guide says. So apparently this thing can bounce around a little bit or something. Oh my god, I looked away. Was it just in a different trash can on a different roof? There's a window um, window cleaner's uh, wall thing. I don't know what those are called, but he climbed up that. And up here, three ghosts oh. just chilling. Oh yeah, this is rooftop. You were on underbuilding. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Obviously. The chain, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, the chain. Fuck that. We're gonna we're gonna use the chain. We got a we got a long haul here of Pac-Man taking forever to do all this. Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> Turbo. Is that how you double jump? Do I just have to get shot in the in the junk when I'm jumping and then I double jump? Might work. And now we're on track to win this game.
No cola. Don't do it. Nice. Love to see that he's just doing stuff. I'm looking for the train to get out of here. I think maybe I'm going the wrong way now. At last. Now to look at the burger. <laughs> there is a map. You're about to see it. It's not a map that's useful. It's just this. I can open this at any time. I want to see my house smoking. I think actually I want to go left here. To the mountain. There's a wall on the left that looks like it's destructible. I can't tell if it is. I guess it's not. Look, look. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll be back, but oh man, you're about to run into the best part of the video game. I can't. Well, unless you die here. <laughs> oh, I'm familiar with this trap. Let's go. Off for this tiny rock, yeah. What? What? Don't play with those. I love jumps that take five seconds to do. Push Y for speed, make him jump by shooting him. Very good. Okay, that's the hazard. Oh, hell yeah. Sat down mid-cart. That's what it's all about. You're going to try and do this all in one shot? No rewinds? Yeah. Legit? That's, uh, that's <laughs> how you get a good review. <laughs> yeah, God damn. I hate that I have to charge oh. this thing up. That makes me so mad. <laughs> Never mind, I feel good. <laughs> Never mind, I'm happy again. <laughs> nice parallax. don't yet need acceleration. I imagine I will someday. 
Oh my god. Uh-oh. Needed to jump, I guess. Not sure, actually. I think you have to go faster or slower to time your way through it. <laughs> Which is crazy! What an ass! I missed somehow, <laughs> even though it was right on him. Yo, yo! That's me when I'm dying in a minecart. <laughs> it's amazing that there's a whole guide for this game and it doesn't include any of the sections. It just says after you're done with it, there's a thing. <laughs> what? What do you think they're going to be able to help you? I guess like shoot Pac-Man to make him go over the stuff. At least describe what's going on around here. Smite, have you had any standout moments of reading a guide and something in a guide is particularly funny to you? Any any stick in your mind? Uh oh shit. <clears throat> yeah, we were reading the Witcher guide and it it said um Something after you're done with the rumpy pumpy, you should go back and talk to the queen or something like that. <laughs> That's just a uh, good good writing from the author. There. I um I think about the Legend of Lagaya two guide a lot that had like <laughs> the directions to get through the horrible sewer dungeon. That's like an absolute nightmare with like 14 <laughs> switches and like tons of backtracking, and it's all identical. It's a nightmare. And at the end of that section of the guide, it's it's just like. Hey, sorry, my directions were ass. If you got through that, good stuff. It's a nightmare here. I couldn't do better. Sorry. Like, I've never had a guide, like, apologize on behalf of the game before. Okay, yeah, we can't... We can't shoot him. That will never work. Dangerous cave. I think um, the FAQ writer for King Arthur and the Knights of Justice did something like that on the boss that was crazy. It's a fairly dangerous cave. He can either tell her that saying she refused the marriage proposal would be pushing the bounds of credibility, in which case she gets a bit upset, or he can agree and get right to the rumpy pumpy. That's <laughs> quite a way to say sex. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was like, what's the context for rumpy pumpy? <laughs> I'm the rumpy pumpy guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, pumping that rump. Yeah, absolutely. That's just what Geralt likes to say all the time. Yeah, it's the it's the quest to retrieve dandelion's loot. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> it's, it's good. An insane game. Absolutely outrageous game. Oh my god, it's so not synced up with me. Here. I gotta I gotta let him do it once and then hold faster down and hope that he makes it. I guess. Faster, faster, faster. 
the, the maturing of the game studio that made The Witcher and by extension, The Witcher is very funny. Going from Witcher 1 where like, where you collect sex cards <laughs> to, to Witcher 3. Oh. Get fucked. <laughs> to Witcher 3, where, like, they make you pick a, a partner for the end, and if you don't, uh, it's really bad for you. They don't... If you try to get everybody, you get no one. The sex cards where Gerald has sex with the... Uh, Gerald has sex with the Lady of the Lake. And a big fish blocks the good, the goods on the card. They just put a big catfish over her, so that it was still PG thirteen. Yeah, you can. The, the censored cards is a thing. I think that is like a version update, but it kicks ass. It's actually really good. <laughs> it's funny every time. Pac-Man doesn't seem to like it here for somebody who wanted to go do this so bad. I didn't even tell him. He just jumped in. Uh, yeah, Virtua Cat. We already, um... Oh, never mind. Sorry, I'm reading an old chat message. That was weird. That's like two hours ago. And there we go. I have fixed. I've cleared two stinky ghosts. And now... Get him. You are playing this section perfectly. Good stuff. Don't... Don't get greedy. The ghost can smell the greed. <laughs> He's dead, chat. Oh, he gets there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust those gaps. I guess I don't need speed for that one, but man, sure felt like I did. I'm dead. Nope. I'm good. I'm good. You slow down, you. I like how this is endlessly long. Okay. <laughs> that was maybe top three most graceful mine carts I've seen. <laughs> This part sucks. <laughs> Do you think this part was worse than the hang glider? Yeah, it definitely was. The hang glider only had like two or three hiccups in it. Use the rope, idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? Get the hell down there. How does that happen when he has gloves on? He literally has defense against this problem. Yo, yeah, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, that's like the one affliction you can't take damage from. <laughs> that's just how his hands look. <laughs> Man, they should have never changed the colors of Pac-Man's arms. Big mistake. Oh, he's mad that I hit the sack. <laughs> So the, the directions told me to shoot everything, and then Pac-Man himself is pissed when I do that. It looked like that ghost pissed <laughs> when you killed him. <laughs> the card. Now we may finish the game. So this guide is just written wrong. It doesn't actually say where the third cartridge piece is. It thinks that this ID was the third cartridge. 
where did you think the, th the last ID is? In one of the trash cans in the city. Which is why I was so confused earlier, because I kept trying to get it. Maybe it's, it's just in here. Yeah, okay. Got them all. Game 100%ed. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Let's go play Miss Pac-Man. Yeah! It's like basically the same as Pac-Man, but maybe there's like a boost button? Yeah, it's actually really good for Pac-Man. That feature is the difference between me enjoying Pac-Man or not. Well, Smite never knew you were such a wife guy. <laughs> Just love a wife that boosts. Is that cold pizza? Did you just it's eat a, like a lunchable? It's like a yeah, that was the Mr. Beast lunchly pizza. Yeah. <laughs> he just slammed that bad boy. Mmm, tastes like granular tomato paste mixed with ketchup. I love it. Even those you're supposed to throw in the microwave. See, they say that I ne I've never met an elementary schooler who was allowed to use the microwave, <laughs> including oh. myself. Oh man. Yeah, smash. Destroy it. Use that rage. When I was in college, we just called that floor pizza. Pizza that was just sitting on the floor all day in the box and it was gross. And somebody would always oh. eat it. And that's what he just ate. <laughs> Uh, for me at Purdue, that was all the little engineering divisions and like little sub school communities and stuff that would like try and have a meeting to get people interested and they'd have free pizza and I didn't have any money. So I'd just go get free pizza <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to join the agricultural engineers. Please don't look at my major. <laughs> I'll cry. I guess I should go get pack pellets just in case. Percussive maintenance is such a good term for that. How have I never heard that? That rules. <laughs> nice. Get his ass. Uh, if you're interested, you can hit exclamation point rating and find a full list of every game that Smite has played through. Yeah, I probably should put that in the headline next time. <laughs> but yeah, that's the command. <laughs> and yeah, you can get uh, you can get all the information. Oh, is that a TV tropes thing? That would explain why I don't know it. Yeah. the dog. Nice. Actually, am I allowed to do this as a mod? There we go. Okay. I just put the exclamation point on in front of the word rating. Nice. Now people will know it's a command. I've been going through the whole library, so like Contra 3's up there and <laughs> some other games that I'm just rating them like I would normally rate a game. And they just it's, happen to yeah, be at the bottom of the list. I, I would say it's good to have those on there. Yeah, like as a point of reference. Cause it's one of those things, right? When you're playing like so many games that are like really truly bad, it, it's good to have an evaluation of like, this is what a five out of five fun time looks <laughs> yeah. like. It's called Contra. <laughs> it fucking owns. Like, here's Kirby Superstar. This game raw, like it, it just rocks. Like there's nothing you can do to have a bad time in this game. <laughs> Go ham. Hit Fighter, nine out of 50 stars. Contra 3, 48 out of 50 stars. <laughs> like it's just. That sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right.
Oh, no worries. So Smite is uh, the person playing right now uh, and main, main streamer here, host of Arcade Pit, etc. I'm Ty Tuesday. I'm from another channel and I'm just a friend on the team. <laughs> Where was the Pac-Man gaming area? Is this it? This is it. It's it. Yeah, you're walking into it. Sweet. I wanted to try out Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, we're going to give this game a rating here soon after I presumably am near the end, I think, at this point. We've got all the stuff. This doesn't have the pack booster. What the heck? It's just the same game, but we just have a bow. <laughs> what we worked so My hard for. My wife. Wah, wah, wee, wah. I'm going to make it. Fuck yeah. They didn't think it could be done. Hell yeah, women's wrongs. Kill them. Man, those are some ugly girl cherries. Bossing, girl bossing them back into the grave. Yeah, those are really dinky cherries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will say, if you're new here um, and you like retro games, be here Ooh. tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, like 6 p.m. Mountain, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, <laughs> etc. A time in Greenwich. It, Arcade Pit, it's a show that Smite's been doing for like... Eight years now? We're actually two months away from ten. We're almost there. Ah! Sorry, I just took damage. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's a really good show. Uh, it's been going for uh, uh, the, almost ten years now. It's like uh, Nick Arcade, but for adults, and it's like actually very good. <laughs> ten <laughs> the years. Challenges are way harder. Also, honestly, at this point, I think there's so many episodes that we might have to start saying Nick Arcade is like Arcade Pit. Because <laughs> yeah. I think legally you have superseded them. Ten years and I haven't missed a single one. Yeah, sometimes it, it was some hellacious hustle to make it happen, but you didn't miss them. <laughs> I think it's just faded to be because... The only time it was really, really bad was when my computer crashed and you were here and I could do something yeah, else. I, yeah, I was in, Emily and I were in person, so we just did it. The other worst time is um, my internet wasn't on yet when we just moved to a new place and Comcast literally laughed at me when I asked them to help me out. So we had to drive somewhere and use a friend's living room and three, three meg up internet to do it. Honestly, the most surprising thing to me is that on all that time, I've never had like two people not show up and I just didn't have any players. That's never happened. Because that would be yeah, a big problem. There, I was like, yeah, there's been a couple times where you needed like one person to fill in, which, hey, that happens. Sometimes, you know, someone uh, get, uh, eats a, the whole pallet of Mr. Beast Festival lunch lease and has <laughs> to throw up to death so they can't show up for arcade pit. Like, that happens. Oh, the Comcast guy literally laughed at me on the phone. He's like, <laughs> I can't help you. Uh, we'll come out Monday or something like that. He actually laughed at me. Yeah. In a very can condescending confirm. way. Yeah, you, you don't live like super deep in a city or anything or like really close by. Like I'm really close to Denver. You are not like super close to anything. So they are really disrespectful. Comcast is so shitty to people who live like out <laughs> in any kind of rural area. Like if you're not urban, they don't care. I guess I'm gonna get 20k. They wanted me to in the manual for some reason. Maybe I could get that many points here. Oh, is there an unlockable behind this? I don't think it's anything interesting, but I think it mentioned getting the high score in this like it was a big deal. Maybe you get like a one up at that point in this game only. Oh shit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're not getting anything, sucker. What a trap. They've been good to me since I moved here. They fixed my internet. They kept coming out here like a, over and over again trying to figure out what was wrong with it. They finally fixed it. Whatever it was, something with the infrastructure. And I don't really blame the ISPs for that too much. Though they do have the monopoly on it. Yeah, that, that's really where I do start blaming them is when these problems have been ongoing for, you know, five plus years and they've invested zero dollars into it. Yeah, like, there's no other option here, so it is them or nothing. And they, they did yep. stick with it until it was fixed. They could have just ignored me, probably. Thankfully, did not. 
If they do ignore you, at least that's when you get to have the fun of uh, calling the FCC and trying to prove that they have committed an actual legal violation, which is a great time. I did it. <gasps> he gets the 20,000, chat. There's no He's one got ups. the points. I didn't get the one up. <laughs> I didn't get anything. Uh, congratulations. Nice. Bad pack. I'm Junior, baby. Oh, we get a little thing. We get a free pellet. They gave for you a single work. power pellet. And we didn't need it, so it got thrown on the floor. <laughs> also, apparently, direct password. What does that do? MSPC MND? Is that like. Yeah, is that useful? Oh, he's dead. Let's back it up. <laughs> We've gone this way anyway. Oh, you can play Ms. Pac-Man anytime you want now. Oh boy. Wow, Sebel out here spoiling the new version of Pac-Man where he's Irish. <laughs> Mick Pac-Man. <laughs> Oh damn! Hot think... dogless behavior. I have to tell this guy it's not worth it. Don't worry about the dog. Just go this way. No, oh, come on! You don't need the dog. Ah! You shot the cat too early. The cat was just hanging out. It hadn't yet perceived the hot dog. So if you shoot it, then you're in trouble. If it's perceived a hot dog, then you do have to shoot the cat. It's like a destiny raid. How does it know he did it? <laughs> How does he know Pac-Man is responsible for this? I need the electrolytes from the hot dog. I guess that's where I want to go anyway, the train station over here. No hot dog, you jerk! Stop it! I need, I need to go change my username to hot dog electrolytes one sec. <laughs> Delicious. All right, Pac-Man 2. I need to go down the sewers, I guess. Which seems like a really weird thing I would probably not have found very quickly. Yeah. Since uh, it's hiding behind, it looks like he's already interacted with the thing. I would never think that he interacts with it four times. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the clue is for getting in the sewers. Because, like, yeah, this is the only way forward once you have all the ID cards. I think the reality is most people, if they're playing through this casually without a guide, like, they just are wandering around so much that you, like, will have found the sewers at some point just by, like, trying desperately to interact with things. Too mad, can't fix it, right? Maybe him just being mad is when it gets fixed. And that's all I need. Yeah. You just need to be there mad, and he will eventually get mad if you keep trying. So you need to go through this game in a super happy, happy, and angry state to find everything. Damn. Yeah, honestly, I, um... I, I'm trying to think if there's ever a situation where Pac-Man being sad or depressed is like the right choice, and I can't think of any. Yeah, I don't think so. Do you think the mood system is really what puts it over the edge? Because other games <laughs> have done the whole, like, control somebody by proxy. But usually it's like, 
like in Lifeline, they ignore you a lot and they don't always understand what you're saying and it's annoying and shit, but at least you're like trying to talk to an adult that's trying to survive and they usually, like they're dumb sometimes, but they at least like act like an adult who's trying. Um, Pac-Man sometimes is just like, I'm going to pee on the ground. No, Pac-Man, <laughs> don't do that. I'm going to do it. <laughs> the, the mood system is like, it's like hunger in a survival game, but there's no food to use to fix yeah. it. And sometimes he'll just like walk into a wall and be like, I'm mad now. Do something about it. This game has the system to be pretty good and they just went nuts instead. Yeah, I would love to see, like, a theoretical version of this game where you just control Pac-Man directly and see, like, how much faster it would be. I would assume probably, like, 20 minutes. Just, like, the speed run time always. Oh, uh, he's gonna die. Oh, no, he's good. He's sad. I don't think we need to interact with the ghosts here. I think we're good. Yeah, you just need to get to the end and turn in the ID cards. You've already done all of the gimmicks for this part once. I didn't get boxed last time, I don't think. Uh, you might be able to shoot him out of the thing. wonder what happens when you get boxed. <laughs> oh no! Is he gonna recover from this predicament? Oh, nice. Good for you. Long thing from Pac-Man. He's decided he's happy. You never know what he's I, gonna say. If I was molded into the shape of my greatest enemies, I don't think I'd be happy afterwards. I, I think I'd be pretty miffed. What's wrong with Pac-Man? Oh, God. How did Pac-Man die here? This time. You, you shot the little glasses, and then he panicked because he thought they were going to break. So he uh, looked at them, and they blew up. I see. Is Lifeline supposed to be good or bad? Lifeline's ambitious. Oh. <laughs> he stops in the laser? What a jerk. Yeah, Lifeline, like most games, was just like, they tried to do voice detection stuff way before it was ready. Which, hey, that's the games industry. We love to try technology before it's fully ready. It's like our thing. I'm playing with motion controls. Put in three cards. All right, did you catch what the password is and how you have to put them in? No. Oh, that's bad for you. <laughs> okay, this takes a while. All right, now that I've been a rude piece of shit and let you walk over here without seeing the answer, do you know where the answer is? Oh, that's absent from this guy. So, you know those pots and pans at the beginning of the area? You have to shoot those down and the ghosts have the passwords behind it. Be off! Be off! Be gone! Be off with you! <laughs> I... I don't know if I've ever seen that! What does be off mean? Be off. 
in the Pac-Man font. Yeah, I'm gonna go be off real quick. <laughs> be right back. What's with the Elder Scrolls Dark Elf guy on the billboard? Oh, do you mean the below the Ghost Witch? Let's see if I can back it up far enough to not do any of that. <laughs> to get to that pot and fed the pans? Yeah, I'd see the answer. Yeah, doesn't this suck, by the way, that you get to the end and then you have to be like, wait, why do I only have three? Yeah, it's a password. Got ya. For what it's worth, I also don't think it's randomly generated, um, so we might be able to just give you it. Yeah, looks like it. I have the answer. I just want to see it. I don't think I can go back this way, though. I think that's like... Hooks and stuff, big jumps I can't make. Yeah, conveyor belt I can't defeat. Unfortunately, it's one way, so failing this means a lot of running around again through the whole city, uh -huh. and through the sewer, and back up. Yeah, this is uh, very intentionally designed to make you do uh, this whole thing twice. Let's see if I have... I probably do have the ability to rewind a little bit more, but not much. Might be stuck. <laughs> this just took forever. That's the problem. This might be good enough to go. There we go. Look at these. Oh. It's hard to tell even that there's anything going on there. Does he not like that? <laughs> He's too sad to go. Here, maybe he needs a good mood pellet. Happiness. I can use this to go over here too and see more of this level. And there's also a ghost in the pan here. You good now, champ? Pac-Man, please. I beg of you. The pans! <laughs> okay. That's pretty weird. That hook, yeah. That ought to make him pretty happy, probably, maybe. And now we can just wait for him to feel like going over there. Yeah, time to go to the Nintendo Labo. Gonna be able to beast out a cardboard. What? Try this. No, 
No, he didn't trip over a laser. Um, so Smite is a slingshot that he uses to guide Pac-Man around. And if you shoot him in the butt, he just like pops in the air 20 feet. And that's like the main mechanic of this game is uh, jumping by way of shooting him, which is as much of a nightmare with an SNES controller and a cursor <laughs> as you might imagine. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm surprised this isn't a mouse game. Oh no. It's the cum monster. <laughs> yeah, that's what that says, right? <laughs> All right? Oh my god, the cum monster's here. I hate this Get guy. Get Batman. Yeah, I'm gonna just... let you have fun figuring out how- Don't read a guide. Figure out how to do this guy. Good luck. Ah. Uh, hate to see it. Pac-Man sits on the floor and watches me do this. Please! Please, I can't fight without the- I need the drugs! <laughs> I need- I need it! Seems like it's gonna take 600 shots regardless of me doing it right. Yeah. It, it, this thing's a huge pain in the butt, even if you do it correctly. Fantastic. So yeah, you you do need to feed him. He will he will absolutely just sit there and die. What if I didn't bring a pellet? You lose. That's what's com that's what's confusing um, about I this game is the soft lock potential. It seems like it's so, real. I, I think what it is is if you're here completely empty, one will just like pop out of the vent every so often. And I think, yeah, I think the game, like, gives you one pellet for free when you start. Hate it, you jackass. What? What is he doing? He'll do something someday. Yeah, you have to like actively tell him to deal with all the ghosts constantly. Yeah, this is the final boss of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, correct. My hero. This is pretty close to correct. Yeah, like this is really a fight where they just expect you to optimize doing three things at the same time. I, I can't remember if you do have to dink the glass next to the witch to make her mad. I think it slows it down. One second, I need to let that through. <laughs> I need to let that message through. That's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> Add permitted term, come monsters. Yeah. I just permitted the term monsters with sweat after it, and that was a different thing. Oh, man. horrible. <laughs> You're not allowed to have sweaty monsters in my chat. <laughs> well, all right. You'll never return in Pac-Man lore, apparently. Wow, what a stupid plan. <laughs>
Wait, the ghost witch of Nator? Wait, what's that? What's Nator? Yeah, back dude. Pac-Man says there's only room enough for one come monster in this town. You know what would be a really good game to follow this one? If you want to have some really positive Pac-Man energy in here. Which I, I always recommend. Pac-In Time, dude. Have you played Pac-In Time? I think I might have at some point. Oh, it's so much better, dude. The grapple hook in that game feels... Schnice. <laughs> it's a weirdly schnice grappling hook. I mean, I can see why you would like this game. It's, it's goofy. There's some games on the... I called them bad list that I like myself. Let's see. Uh, it stops like halfway up there. I think... Um, let's see. looking at this like Nosferatu is almost a decent I want I want to like it I like Jurassic Park 2 as a bad Contra like games Hey, do you works. want to play the time trial? What is that? How, how did I uh, only clear... Uh, wait a second. There's some stuff on screen I gotta wonder about. How did I only clear 60 to 79% when I got all of the things? Um, Did you get a high score on the original Pac-Man? <laughs> no. It's that worth 20%? Might... It might... Me and then I think you also have to have all of the interactions in each mood. That's yeah, pretty okay, crazy. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, Dark Man saying in chat. Yeah, you have to like have a bunch of weird, goofy little events go off. What is the time trial mode? That's a great question. <laughs> I was gonna say, I know there is a second hidden minecart. Um, so you know when you're going through the sewers uh, on the way to the factory at the end. So that hole in the wall will, if you shoot into it, sometimes have like some burglars come out and there's a way you can convince Pac-Man to go back in there. Don't ask me what it is. Cause he loves to not go in there, but you can, you can get him in there. There's a second hand glider section too. Hell yeah. I don't know what to put for stage design. That's not really the problem. I think the stage design is okay, except for that mean thing at the end. Is it just control zero? I feel like that's the big thing here, <laughs> yeah. right? Take those stars away, all the way to zero. Like control, you literally don't. Like, it, I'm presuming your got your scale here allows no negatives, and zero is in fact the lowest. Cause like, yeah. Man, if anything was going to get negative controls, I think the one where you actively don't control your guy has to be it, yeah. <laughs> I have a couple games that have zero in things. Um, it looks like nothing has zero in controls yet, but I have like zero in music for a game that actually doesn't have music. And um, a couple of the other ones. Zero in appearance for um, Mohawk and Headphone Jack because it actually makes me sick to look at it. That game is vomit-inducing. Have you ever watched the video of... Um, Mohawk and Headphone Jack put through YouTube video stabilization from back when YouTube had a feature where it would try to auto-stabilize videos. <laughs> it's I had my hilarious. I, I will link it to you for later. It's a good time. I'm going to say the sound was middling. It's pretty good, uh, I guess. I like these the Character noises. noises are so weird. I think <laughs> my personal grudge against it is that... Um, 
the constant thing it does where the music speeds up and slows down depending on like Pac-Man's mood or how fast you're going in a cart or whatever is like kind of charming at first. By the end of two hours of playing this, it makes me want to die. It just sounds like a broken <laughs> record player constantly. <laughs> uh, historical Impact is our new stat. What did this game get for that? Uh, considering they buried it in the ground and never referenced it again. <laughs> it was unique. I don't know that it's sold very well. I'll give it one. Trying something. Here you go, chat. Enjoy. It was released. I think uh, Fantasia on the Genesis is a game I can think of that's going to get a zero because it was released and then deleted from existence by... The, they didn't actually have the rights to make Fantasia. <laughs> so, historical impact. Whoops. Uh, difficulty. It's not really a hard game. It's not really a thing. I think I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, it's got like occasional little skill checks here and there, but it's like, you know, it's like saying a QTE where you press one button's hard. It's like, yeah, it might get you a couple times, but then eventually you know when to press the one button in your Gucci. Messing up Pac-Man's day has value. Thanks for submission, Bearminator. Um, honestly, that's part of the fun factor here. Yeah! Because I wouldn't give it any if it weren't for me just being able to shoot Pac-Man in the head when he's being a jerk. I gotta figure out where to put this in the list here. I think it's way better than a lot of these games. Yeah. I think it's better than the Simpsons games. Yeah, I would say so. Like, the, I, I don't love playing this game, but it, like, is a video game front to back. Its control scheme is a nightmare. But, like, outside of that, it kind of works, you know? I'm thinking it goes right around here. But I am about to go through here and put historical impact on things. And I think what I want to do is figure out why these star counts are off and uh, adjust them. The Great Waldo search has zero on controls because it actually doesn't have controls, like, inapplicably. And then zero on stage design because it doesn't have that either. So that's a problem for that game. I don't know how to rate that. It's a problem for me. I gotta figure out how to score something like that. Otherwise, fighting games just automatically can only get 45 out of 50 points. And that doesn't seem like something I should do. Oh, because, like, because they don't have stages. Yeah, because I don't give them, I don't want to just give them three points for free, but that might actually be the best way to go. Or you could just say, in context of fighting games, you are just talking about, like, how nice the backgrounds are and, like, how cool of fighting environments they are. Because, like, that's really important in fighting games, legitimately. Like, you, you think of the um, the Street Fighter 2 stage with the big Buddha lying down. That shit's iconic, man. People, like, do art of that. The underpass stage in Street Fighter 4, people reference that a lot. Like, there's, like, a couple levels with, like, big cool balloons and CBS, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I think that's valid. I put that under appearance. Uh, usually, and then I have stage design as like conceptually the way platforms are placed or things like that. If it's a maze, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of any SNES games that have like I think like Smash Brothers has stage design sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a limited thing. Like, there's a couple fighting games where you can like knock people through walls and stuff like that, and you could evaluate like how good having breakable walls and stuff is and then um you know compare that to modern games where uh you never have breakable walls in any sign being passed a note about guilty gear strive having breakable walls <laughs> and tekken also having breakable walls oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah I, I for example i would say any of the um Injustice games where there were like interactables in the background that like completely swung the balance of the game based on what it was. Yeah, I would say those were like bad <laughs> actively. 